Hey guys, thought I would do a quick uh, video on setting up a factorial DOE in Minitab 18. So I'm going to go to Stat, DOE, <coughs> Factorial, Create a Factorial Design. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to do three factors for this experiment. This is going to be a DOE on the McDonald's exercise that I do in class. Um, I could go here and do a resolution three or a full. If I had questions about resolution, I can click help. So I'm going to go to designs. I'm going to do a full DOE and eight times one is eight, which means no replicates. I'm going to do two replicates, meaning you're going to do the experiment twice. All right, factors. Uh, we've got store. It's going to be text, Miami Lakes, Miami Gardens, and then we've got order method, text, drive through. Actually, that was, uh, sorry, that was a la carte, and uh, number menu, you know, give me a number one combo, and then service method. Text and that was drive through and counter. All right, so basically these are my X's. Uh, my Y is going to be how long it takes to get an order. So I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK. My DOE is set up. I just need to add uh, my cycle time column. And I'm off to the races, uh, ready to do the DOE. I just hand this off, and it tells folks to go to Miami Gardens to order a la carte and to go through the drive through And clearly, we may set a standard here of you know just getting the number one combo meal every time um, per number. We may say that you always have to order the same a la carte just to keep things consistent. Um, so now I want to cover a second thing, and that's how to make a DOE that you didn't do one. So I'm going to open... McDonald's case study that we did in class and show you that you can use all of the DOE tools sometimes. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the McDonald's and I see that I've got a continuous Y and then I notice that I've got three discrete X's and I notice that they only have two options. As I said, most of the folks, particularly in the service industry, are probably not going to do a DOE. However, you can sometimes pretend you did one, and this sure looks like a DOE, so I'm going to go to Stat, DOE, Factorial, and I'm going to define a custom design. Basically, I'm going to tell Minitab to pretend I did one. So my X's are location, service, and order method. I need to go in and set up, so location, one and two, uh, everything's set up correctly. Uh, if you had words, you could change it to coded. And we're ready to go. Hit OK. And so basically, Minitab has pretended uh, that we've done a DOE so that now I can go stat, DOE, factorial. And now I can analyze the design. Service time is my Y. Click on terms. Everything's in there. These are all the possible interactions. I'm going to go, well, let's do it first. Just hit OK. Looks like we've got quite a few things that matter. And then, as you know from class, we could take these out one at a time. But we'll let Minitab do that for us. Don't forget the confidence interval is set at 85% for a p-value less than 0.15. And hit OK. That's so much stuff that I'm going to... I'm going to change my p-value to 0.05. I mean, we, we have so much data that I don't know I really need to be that liberal. Okay. Now, A can't come out because it's needed for the interaction. So there's an interaction between location and service method. Uh, and if you'd like to see those interactions, stat, DOE, factorial, Factorial plots. Everything's in there. Now, only model terms means Minitab knows what we found and it's going to just show us that. Okay, so there that's a great example of an interaction. If you're going to go to 
location one, then you better use service method two, which is the red line, because that's pretty dramatic. If you're going to go to location two, you better use service method one. I mean, look at, I'm sorry, a <laughs> correction. We want to go down. I keep forgetting. I'm used to the helicopter exercise where we want to go up. So let me say that again. If you're going to use location one, you need to use service method one, which is the blue line. So you need to use this one. If you're going to go to location two, you would use service method two. In fact, that looks to be the fastest as well. Um, behind the scenes, the interactions plots ran. I mean, main effects. So uh, definitely. Uh, location two by itself, order method one by itself, and then you see that the interaction plot sort of uh, corrects some of that. So finally, I'm just going to go stat, DOE, factorial, let's see what the optimal setting is. I'm going to go to response optimizer, and I want to minimize cycle time, and I'm going to hit OK. And basically, if we want to get lunch fast, we need to go to location two, service method two, order method one, and we will be out in 30 seconds. So I believe that was Miami Gardens drive through by the number, if I recall. All right, so again, just a refresher on DOE analysis, a quick uh, example of how to set up a DOE when you really didn't do one, and an example of how to set up a DOE uh, with replication. Hope you guys are doing well and take care.